Good morning everyone, this is the Cooper Tavascan and today we're going to do a range test at 130 kilometers an hour. This is the rear wheel drive version in the winter, I think November. I tested the VZ with 250 kilowatt, this car has 210 kilowatt, rear wheel drive 286 horsepower. It has an 82 kilowatt hour battery, 77 kilowatt hours can be used. I'm charging here the Tesla supercharger to 100%. Then we go right here on the highway and drive 130 kilometers an hour GPS speed and see uh, with what uh, range we come back here. I want to arrive with around 10% or so. The car has 21 inch summer tires on. And by the way, it already has the illuminated logo in the front and in the rear. Looks, really, looks really nice. <music> I am on my way driving 133 on the speedometer which is 130 GPS speed head up display cockpit I have my driving data in here I started at 100% um, my climate is on 22 degrees but it's not heating and there's no AC and I'm in normal mode not in eco and no seat heater and it's 17 degrees out there I used 25% of the battery and drove 84 kilometers that would mean a full range, if I'm right, 336 kilometers, I think that's right. Um, my average consumption 218, in the beginning it was around 205, but it got, got higher. Maybe the, the way to get here is a bit uphill, no idea. What is it now, 17 and a half degrees, it's very, very busy. On the other side, where I was, just was, before I turned around, I don't know yet if it's busy here. So I'm guessing, and it's a lot of Germans, so I think a part of Germany, the summer holidays are over, and that's why they're all going home. <laughs> I don't know which one, but I think so. How is the Cupra Tavascan rear wheel drive on uh, 130 kilometers an hour range test? And it's really nice. It's very comfortable. Um, the noise level, I have a bit of wind noise, but it's okay. Sound system is good. Uh, the drive is really nice. Cruise control and steering assist as in all MEB platform cars amazing it recognizes my touch I don't have to steer against it I don't have to hold very strong um, the seats are a bit firmer there's no massage function there's no venti uh, seat ventilation which is sad um, but it's still very very nice it just drives great I like I like that so a long distance trip in this car is no problem at all you can enjoy it again I would like a massage function that would be nice I used 50% of the battery and my full range would now be 326 kilometers, 10 kilometers less than before. My consumption went up a bit as well, even though it's now 18 and a half degrees, heat is still not doing anything. I can see it here, not red, because if I put the temperature up, it goes to red. And I don't want that. No seat heater, heating, nothing. Um, yes. 
and now like I said the drive uh, back so the uh, highway direction to uh, direction to the south and now here to the east is 10 million times better way less traffic and of course today it's Sunday no trucks as well that's why I do it on Sunday I just turned around, navigated back to the Tesla supercharger. It says I will arrive with 13%. I think it will be less. We'll see. Now there's a stupid, stupid, stupid uh, construction zone that they made. And it's totally stupid because it's you, you just for 100 meters, you go a bit to the left. The road is a bit smaller. And then for a kilometer, there's nothing but still 80 just totally nonsense and it says it will uh, the, the, the renewing the, the the street and it takes till 2028 in December so over three years oh man this is my main road for for my range test Ugh, that's so stupid and it affects my 110 as well damn it yes so 85 kilometers to go car things I have 136 kilometers of range. Consumption is still going up. Maybe on the way back, we'll see. Do you want to charge for free? Of course you do. And how can you do that? With NCharge. NCharge is an app. You download it and when you are at the charger, you rate the charger and the charging provider is so happy to get the information if everything is working, if there's a problem and stuff like this, that it gives you via NCharge kilometers and stars. And these you can exchange for charging credit. Amazing. Use the link in the description, sign up and get 20 kilometers to start with. I arrived with 11%, drove 289 kilometers, Google Maps says it's 295 kilometers, 229 watt dust per kilometer is my average consumption. Okay, so I calculated the range and I get to 331 kilometers full range today at these conditions. No heat, no AC, so it should be really good today, but 21 inch wheels and i'm charging now to 80 percent when you, and then we're going to do the rain, the next range test if you want to compare other cars to this uh, result there's a google spreadsheet in the description below so you see all of my range tests that i did if you want to follow me on instagram battery life one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on youtube there's also channel membership and if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes i have a third youtube channel behind the battery but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care. Bye.